But today is special. Just for you guys. Mmm. What's your favorite breakfast spot, people? You gotta shake your coffee. Wow. Our fig. Hello and welcome to my Monday mukbang. Uh, today I'm in the pretty city of Bradford, Ontario, Canada at a Tim Hortons, as you can see over my left shoulder. And I thought today I'd do a breakfast mukbang and I ordered a bunch of stuff off the menu. The one thing I should have got on top of this possibly is one of the bagel things that they have, but I, I totally gapped on that as I pulled away after purchasing all this stuff. So we got ourselves uh, an orange juice. I haven't had one of their orange juices in a long time, so I didn't know that they had their own orange juice brand going on. I thought they just had like some generic orange juice. Uh, and of course I got a large double double. I got the large double double, the hash browns, and I think this, uh, this one. It was the sausage breakfast sandwich home style biscuit. And then I got the breakfast sandwich English muffin. And then this one is like the farm, the farm breakfast sandwich, which has uh, egg, sausage, cheese, and a hash brown. So that's what we're doing for today's mukbang. I had to uh, drive Ben to work and uh, I didn't want to have to wait till 11 o'clock for Wendy's to open. So next week, I'm going to try really hard to do a Wendy, Wendy's mukbang uh, and do like all five uh, kids meals in one sitting. That will be kind of fun. Uh, so <laughs> good morning and I uh, uh, hope you guys have a good day. One of the, my first things I do when I get my breakfast sandwich, as I leave the sandwich all packed up, eat my hash browns. And for those of you who uh, watch my vlog channel, every time I go to the Toronto airport to fly out of Toronto to somewhere, stop at McDonald's, get one of these breakfast sandwich meal combos, and they, they've burnt two of the hash browns. It's like they over toasted. This is perfect. Wendy's in, uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Tim Hortons here in Bradford, Ontario. They do it right. I don't know how they burn it every single time, but it's at least two or three times they burnt it. Whatever. Can't have it burnt, people. Mm. Now, I gotta eat this when they're hot because it tastes awful when it's cold. Gotta have orange juice with my breakfast. This is too much orange juice for my breakfast usually. Most times I'd, like to, I'd have half of that. But today is special, just for you guys. I get a lot of comments about the hat. And the reason I'm wearing it as much as I do is it's super comfortable. Toronto uh, YouTube, when I was at the YouTube space in Toronto, I, uh, Gabriel, one of the guys that works there, he's like, hey, come here. And so he gave me one of these hats. It was, a, it was a special hat that I had designed, made for a specific reason. I can't remember what that reason was for and who they gave them to, but they had extra and he gave me one of them. So I'm super thankful to Gabriel for giving me this hat because it's super comfortable. It looks awesome and it keeps my head warm because I don't have any hair. Mm. What's your favorite breakfast spot, people? Leave an awesome comment on this video and I might pin you. Don't ask to be pinned because I, I ignore those ones. Pin me! I'll pin you. I'll pin you. <laughs> The orange juice is not bad. A lot of these like specially made orange juices for these companies, sometimes they're, yeah, not from concentrate. That was my next question. Was it concentrate? 
it's pretty good. It, it kind of tastes like Tropicana, which is a, one of my favorite orange juices. There's another one, Simply Orange is another good one. So like I said, I was going to go to Wendy's, but I don't want to wait two hours. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I need to shoot a mukbang, get home, edit it, put it up for you guys, and then get back here for three to pick Ben up. I need to share a car. I'm going to be full after this one. Cheers, everybody. No sugar added. Shake before, shake before serving. Why would you serve this to somebody? Hey, did you bring a glass? I'm going to serve you some orange juice. Just straight up egg is not bad. I have a friend who orders this, but he does just, you can actually uh, ask for just egg white. So if you're watching your cholesterol, which I should be doing, uh, too late, um, you can order it uh, with just egg white. I'm gonna go for the big one next. I'm gonna open my coffee too. You gotta shake your coffee. Ooh, it came out. It doesn't come out like that. Mm hmm. Always fresh. Tim Hortons. Yeah, two things I forgot I was gonna buy. One was the, the breakfast bagel BLT thing. And. I was going to get a donut. I am at Tim Hortons. But I rarely order a donut in the morning. Especially with my breakfast. I don't know. It's funny because a lot of people do uh, grab a donut in the morning. But not me. I'm not a donut in the morning kind of guy. I like... Uh, it's funny. Uh, somebody left a comment on one of my recent videos. And I can't remember. I'm just trying to organize this a bit better. Look at that cheese... Somebody said something along the lines of, oh, it was the, the, the McDonald's mukbang. Or no, it wasn't a, wasn't a McDonald's mukbang. It was uh, McDonald's, the pancake or the hot cakes video. And, and the person, I guess, is from Europe or something and, and can't understand why people want sugary things for breakfast. And I kind of get that. Because, like, I just kind of confess, I don't really like donuts first thing in the morning. As part of my breakfast... But uh, obviously pancakes with syrup and stuff is fine. <laughs> wow. That's big. Mmm. That's my favorite. Let me try this one. The, the uh, hash brown is nice and crunchy. And then the sausage, I haven't had their sausage in a long time. It just has a little nice little spicy kick to it. This is the same thing, basically without the uh, hash brown in it. The one with the hash brown in it is better. It tastes pretty good. Mm. Why do I keep capping it? But I think I'm going to knock it over. So all this food came to, not that we usually do prices on this, it came to 1535 I'm not sure. I guess if you went to like a mom and pop shop and had a huge breakfast, it would be probably like five, six bucks, right? Three eggs, bacon, home fries, a coffee, orange juice probably under ten dollars and I'm not sure if it would be this much food but I 
think breakfast is one of my favorite meals. Breaking that fast. Got to talk about the coffee. Love Tim Hortons coffee. This is brilliant. Do I like other coffees? Yes. Do I enjoy a good Tim Hortons coffee? One hundred percent. A car just pulled in from Nova Scotia. License plate. I haven't seen a Nova Scotia license plate in Ontario in a long time. It must be too cold over there. <laughs> it is minus three Celsius, which would be like, I don't know, 38, 39 maybe. Nope. Yeah, because your zero is 32, so it would be like 30, 29. Went the wrong way in my head. Yeah, this is much better. More calories, but... <clears throat> Pretty thick sandwich. And their biscuits are amazing. I prefer the biscuit over the English muffin. But when I'm at McDonald's, it has to be the English muffin. Two Canadian geese just flew by. I need to have a reverse camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. As I observe the world through my windshield. Most of them put, oh yeah. I'm like, I taste like onion or something, but there's um, a sauce on there that I cannot identify at all. But it has an onion flair to it. I'm not sure if it's because I'm biting through the, uh, the hash brown, which is crunchy, and then I'm getting this kind of, some type of a sauce. mixed in with other foods, it tastes like there's onion in it. It's probably not onion. But the sauce is, that's, I think that sauce is what's making it. So I'm sure if you ask for this one, you could ask for the sauce on it, but this doesn't have sauce. Nope. I'm gonna leave that one for last. Mm-hmm. Story time. It's not a story from the past. It's a story from the possible future. I just talked about this with the vlog people. Just in case you didn't know how to vlog channel. I have a vlog channel. Go check it out. I sent a letter, an email, to two other YouTubers in Japan who I've been in talks with for a little while. And I'm thinking of flying over. So I sent the email, letting them know that I would like to fly over, but I want to make sure that they are available to shoot food reviews they have a lot of very interesting vending machines there and a lot of interesting food definitely got to do a McDonald's Japan So I want to make sure that the uh, 
Critical Eats Japan, Paul, and Eric from Eric Surf 6. I'm hoping to collab with them. I'm hoping to kind of, you know, be with Paul and then be with Eric and then all three of us be together and do some really cool videos. It'll be a lot of fun. Excuse me, but I'm going to have to burp. <laughs> Excuse me. I pardon, 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 pardon me. So I have a whole bunch of travel vlogs coming. If you like travel and adventure, check out my vlog channel. Because if I do go to Japan, I have to get the thumbs up from my wife first. Can't just go. But uh, if I go to Japan, it has to be soon. Because in May, I'm going to uh, Palm Springs for ClamorCon, which is a gathering of all the YouTubers. And then in June, I'm going to LA, or sorry, I'm flying into LA, going to Anaheim for VidCon. I'm going to be there for a week. And then in July, we're, we're flying to Hawaii. So... If you like travel vlogs, I, I do get comments, people saying, why are you always videotaping in Bradford? That's because that's kind of my home, my the town that I go to all the time. Uh, I don't need to go really anywhere else to go for food reviews. There's tons of stuff here. There's tons of stuff north of me in Barrie. I'm not going to drive all the way into Toronto just to go and do a food review at uh, Tim Hortons that I have really close to my house, so... That's why I'm looking forward to these travel things. Do all these really cool food reviews in other places. So if you want to help me out, I'm finding food locations. Always leave them in the comments below. I read them. Try to take note. What, who left the comment and where they wanted me to eat. If it sounds interesting to me, if I think of that it'll be a, a good video. Another thing too, people ask me all the time, why do you always eat at the, the fast food chains and stuff? Because they get the views. I go to a place in, in town called Seven Skewers, eat chicken hearts on a skewer, thinking, hey, Here's a restaurant that does something totally unique. Not a whole lot of people have chicken hearts on skewers. It got a quarter of the views that the McDonald's pancakes got. So there's the answer for you guys. That's why I don't eat at mom and pop shops all the time. Because they don't get the views. Unless it's something crazy. So a big shout out to Lakeview Burgers. Graham's the owner there. And, you know, he's a, uh, uh, when I first uh, went to his shop, he it was the only one. Now he's got three stores, three restaurants, all the same. Excuse me again, man, wow. I'm eating so fast for myself. So a shout out to him because he created the uh, deep fried poutine, which got us so many views. And because it's something crazy on the menu called deep fried poutine. And then we did the deep fried Christmas wrap. So they got lots of views because they're, they're different and crazy. But if I just went to some mom and pop shop that has a regular burger, you guys won't watch it. I, and I have evidence of that uh, whenever I do mom and pop shops eating normal food nobody wants to watch that they'll only want to see the weird crazy ass things and the same with fat bastard burritos which a whole bunch of you guys want to do a mukbang on there and i will trust me the reason those videos get a lot of views is because the restaurant's called fat bastard burrito so when people are looking for food reviews they come across this place called fat bastard burrito and boom instant view the food's amazing too. So that's why I like going there. 
and doing food reviews there because of the name of the restaurant. Like they're all normal burritos, just like everywhere else. But it's the name of the restaurant that makes me money. Lakeview Burgers, the name of the food and the weird creations that he has makes me money. So there's some insight for you. It's hard sitting here eating all this food and there's a good life fitness right there and all those people are running on treadmills. <laughs> I have a membership there too. I will be going back. I'm in hibernation mode right now. So let me know what you think about me going to Japan. If it happens, it's got to happen really soon because they're coming up on their March break. And I want to be there when Paul from Critical Eats Japan and Eric from Eric Surf 6 are available to work with me for like days straight going on uh, adventures, going on hikes. Uh, you can't climb Mount Fuji until August or something when it's stupid hot. But uh, I, as long as I see Mount Fuji, I'll be happy. I don't necessarily need to climb it. Although climbing Mount Fuji would be amazing. Let me know if you've climbed, climbed Mount Fuji. Last bite, people. Mm. I'm glad I only got three sandwiches. Woo! Two points. <laughs> Again, the farm the farm breakfast sandwich is my favorite out of those three. Let's finish the OJ. I thought I shook it up. Packed in Canada. We don't grow oranges in Canada. How'd they pack them in Canada? Hmm. This is, you could actually get a deposit on this. Return for refund where applicable. One of my ideas, and anybody in the world can steal this idea if you want to make it work. Put a deposit on everything. There would be no trash lying around on the roads. There would be no tin cans, no bottles, certain kinds of wrappers. Because sure, there will be the odd person that just throws their shit out the window. Excuse my language. And uh, But there will always be that one person who sees that, who needs the money, and will pick it up and take it to a store for re refund. That's my solution to uh, the world's pollution problems. Deposit on everything. Cups, bottles, cans. Here in Canada, beer bottles are 10 cents. Beer cans, I think now are 10 cents as well. So when you buy your two four, uh, they add $2.40 for the deposit so after you drink all your beer you put all your bottles back into the case take it to the beer store they gave you two dollars and forty cents you go buy your next case and give them back the two forty cents and then you go home get smashed no pollution I was in uh, st another story quick story uh, I was in oh, Louisiana and uh, working on a television show and the producer and I were sitting in a bar, just finished eating all the seafood and drinking beers. And the bartender would come along, grab all the beer bottles and throw them into a garbage can, smashing them all. Couldn't believe it. And they, they just throw it in a dump and landfill and it just sits there forever and rots. You won't see beer bottles here in Canada in the garbage. 
Nope. And there are people, even our liquor bottles, wine bottles, basically anything you buy at the liquor store or beer store has a deposit on it. And I think like liquor bottles and wine bottles are like 20 cents. So there are people that they'll drink their wine, they'll throw their stuff into the recycling bin and there will be other people that will go driving around on recycling day and pull those bottles out because they can make probably, I don't know, 50 to $100 by the end of the day if they get there and get everybody's bottles that the, the rich people who just don't care about taking bottles back, I guess, I don't know. Mm. Hope you enjoyed my story time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this mukbang. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Definitely too much food for one person, but that's the whole idea of a mukbang is to eat uh, a little bit more than normal, have a good time, share some good stories, talk about the future, uh, get some feedback from your audience. Because I'm here for you people. I am here for you. Leave me, a lot of people want me to go to Wendy's, so next week I'm gonna try really hard to do Wendy's. A lot of people want me to do a big sushi boat. Definitely wanna do that, but I wanna do that at home uh, I'm going to set it all up like Eric Surf 6 did, have a few uh, um, Japanese beers, and uh, just have a good time. Uh, and in the future, I also might try to do a mukbang, uh, uh, a live show. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see that. I don't, I don't like doing those kinds of things as a live show. Doing spin the wheel beer, beer in a live show works out great. It just, that's that show kind of uh, idea works as a live show, but I don't think this would work as a live show. Let me know once again. Again, I'm trying to build this channel with you guys in mind. So thank you very much guys for stopping by my mukbang today. And I really appreciate you uh, coming by. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out all my social medias. Make sure you click that notification bell on the subscribe button. And also, if you enjoyed watching this video, you enjoyed my stories from me to you, please show your support by hitting the thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you guys again in the next Monday Mukbang. Ciao, guys.